Hey noble ones, welcome to Metatron's Academy. Today I found a video that I thought was really intriguing because of its title, and it's the video called Seven Types of Portuguese Accents. Now, of course I'm aware that there are several varieties of accents uh, in Brazilian Portuguese, I mean it's a massive country, but also within Portugal, depending on where you're from and what city, you're going to have different accents. But what's interesting about this uh, video, which I still have to watch, but I've been like very quickly browsing through, is that it, this is from several countries that I didn't even know. I mean some of these countries I didn't even know they existed, and, and for those that I did know, I'm like, oh, so they speak Portuguese there? So it's intriguing, and I thought, why don't we explore this one together? and then see which one we like the most uh, and then you can tell me what you think in the comments. Let's go! A sobrelotação deste comboio regional não é o único problema da Comboios de Portugal. Há anos que os utilizadores da linha de Cascais se queixam das composições envelhecidas e viram com a atualização dos horários algumas das ligações suprimidas. O mesmo aconteceu na linha do Oeste. As falhas nas manutenções das unidades duplas a diesel 450, adquiridas em 1965, levaram ao corte de alguns comboios entre... Okay, so this is fascinating. So this is, of course, a European Portuguese, which, believe it or not, is the one that I am kind of more familiar with, although I'm not familiar with Portuguese at all. But this, you know what, we, what it reminds me? You're going to laugh, but it reminds me of a video game, specifically Age of Empires 3, because I think when you play Lisbon, they sound a bit like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm pretty confident. So, uh, I, I didn't understand anything she said at all completely. Um, Accent-wise, so I know that there are several people that hate European Portuguese. I like it. I, I like the way it sounds. I really do. But it's... it's, uh, it's w When I think of Portuguese, I think the one sound that it's that I would immediately go to is, is Brazilian Portuguese. I must have heard that one more than this. This I just directly connect to Age of Empires 3. But as I kind of focus on it, even though I'm not understanding it, when I focus on the sounds, I'm noticing the sh at the end of words, like the S pronounced like a sh. I'm noticing that sometimes she trills her R's like a R, and other times her R is more like a like a R. And I'm, I'm noticing that. I could be wrong, but let me know uh, if you're a native speaker. But also the overall intonation this is gonna sound weird to you, but the overall intonation goes from, yeah, this is Portuguese, to, wait, that kind of sounded Russian. And I wonder why. Does it give you that feeling as well? So interesting. It does give me an idea of a more, like, kind of strict, formal approach to Portuguese, whereas usually Brazilian Portuguese gives me a, diff a completely different vibe. Um, but anyways, this is my opinion on Portugal Portuguese. If you're a native speaker of Portuguese, but maybe you're from somewhere else, could you understand her? Uh, let me know. Portanto, compensado com duas composições provenientes da linha do Douro, alugada... You see the way she said proveniente? That almost sounded Russian to me, but then it doesn't. Does that make sense? Like, it sounds a bit almost like Russian, but then it's, I'm like... No, 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 that's Portuguese, because then she say something with a with a nasalized sound or an intonation that now it's different and it sounds more like Portuguese. It's, uh, oh, it's fascinating. I love it. See how she said Renfe at the end? So I think I was right. They must have both R's depending on the location. Um acordo entre os sindicatos e políticos garantiu a aprovação de um projeto que mantém obrigatório o pagamento de um... <laughs> obrigatório. I love Brazilian Portuguese. Like, I like both types, but so far, Brazilian Portuguese is my favorite sound-wise. It's so musical. It's fun. You know, it sounds fun. Like, you're going to have a good time. <laughs> if I, if, if I hear, and, and of course, there are many different types of Brazilian Portuguese. Um... So far, I've, I've heard, I, I, had a, I made a video on uh, Rio de Janeiro or Rio de Janeiro, like they say, um, uh, so the Carioca accent, love it. And then I made a video on uh, the Paulista accent as well, um, which, was, which was also really good. So far, the Carioca is my favorite, I've got to say it, but they both sound great. I have no idea what accent she has. She doesn't sound like a carioca, though, um, to me, but I could be completely wrong. I watch it being like in the comments, of course she's a carioca, you idiot. 
Um, but still, you know, it's clearly Brazilian Portuguese, but depending on where in Brazil, Northeast, um, Southeast, or, or just, you know, there are lots of the Northwest, there are lots of different accents. And, uh, and even uh, Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, even though they're not too far away, uh, they sound completely different. So I don't know which one she has, but it's definitely Brazilian Portuguese. And I absolutely love it. Imposto Sindical. Quer ter uma pele saudável e bonita? Então deixe o estresse e a ansiedade de lado. Segundo os médicos, a aparência da pele está diretamente ligada ao bem-estar. And I also understand her a bit. Like I'm understanding more what she's saying than what the European Portuguese lady was saying. Now, given it could also be just a variable, like it just happened that it so happened that she used words that were a little easier because it was more similar to Italian than that maybe the, the, the one in Portugal was actually a topic that was more difficult. I don't know. I'll have to do more testing. But so far, I'm actually understanding some of what she's saying. O governador de Nova York renunciou hoje por causa do envolvimento com uma rede de prostituição. Seu substituto será o... I, I still don't understand much, but I'm understanding more. Primeiro cego a governar um Estado americano. Hmm. Ministro de Família e Inclusão Social na visita hoje para o Conselho de Tarrafal de Santiago anuncia a criação de primeiro creche municipal e um centro de idoso em parceria com o Cama. Wow, this sounds completely different. So, uh, first of all, Cape Verde, Cape Verde, so it's in West Africa. Uh, it's interesting because if you had asked me what language is this, at first I would be like, I don't know. Then, if I listen to it more, I, the U at the end, you know, I'd be like, yeah, okay, that's probably Portuguese. Um, but I would have not been able to tell you Africa. I don't know. She doesn't sound like what I normally imagine an African. Like, for example, because I'm more exposed to Africans either speaking English uh, or speaking French. Usually I can recognize them right away. Could you recognize them from being from West Africa or specifically Cape Verde? Let me know in the comments. Câmara Municipal. Essa visita também serve para a inteira de situação de rendimento de inclusão social. Fornal... Rendimento de inclusão social. Yeah, you can tell it's Portuguese, but it sounds worlds apart. Quando Elísio Freire estava acompanhado para o presidente de Câmara Municipal, que realça a importância de parceria entre poder local e governo. Very interesting. So, what did you think of this one and how much could you understand? Let me know in the comments. So far, Brazil still takes the cake. Sociedade Civil Russo para o Presidente da República, Francisco Guterres Lolo, atuveta a alteração da Lei Fundo Petrolífero, também a garantia para investimento de dívida privada na Bimacala, Rússia. Ok, so first of all, I have no idea where East Timor, Timor, is. No idea. I mean, it says Southeast Asia. Is it like close to the Philippines? Maybe I literally have no idea. If you had asked me, like I couldn't tell you to save my life. Uh, Accent-wise, I can tell that there are some influences of some of these uh, languages spoken in Southeast Asia. I can uh, particularly the way she pronounced that D. Uh, maybe I could have placed that. Empresa Público Timor Gap. Primeira vice-presidente Parlamento Nacional até tem ex-presidente da ONU GSM, Maria Gatiri, será que entrega documentos para a equipa? Entrega documento. And also she speaks very fast, which makes it impossible for me to understand. Transição, ela significa a cuja entrega, mas precisa tempo a tu organiza documento, Iracné. Residências encharcadas, árvores derrubadas e cortes de energia elétrica em algumas zonas. Ok, so for example, Southern Africa, Angola. This I could have told you it's in Africa. She actually sounds like it. So uh, to me, uh, this would be, uh, it's, it's fascinating that in Angola they speak Portuguese. Um, to me, this is more of an accent that I would associate with someone who's speaking a Romance language, but is uh, from, from Africa. A capital, o Manuel André, está no município do Quilambaquiaxi, onde uma bacia de retenção transbordou em consequência... Now that was some proper rolling of R right there. Italian approved. ...da chuva. E várias casas, tal como já dissemos, estão inundadas. Eu ainda era pequeno quando eles, ele e o meu irmão trabalhavam na televisão de São Tomé, né? São Tomé e Príncipe, né? uh, e eu ia lá espreitar, né? eu ia lá ver como é que se fazia a televisão. E foi, neste, foi nessa altura que ganhei algum gosto pela televisão também, né? por isso eu acredito que ele também... Well, I'm not understanding a word, and I don't know if it's because of the accent, or maybe he's using some 
slangs or, or, or maybe it's just because I mean at least with the Brazilian one I could understand something but then again I couldn't understand much of the European Portuguese either so it's just that I don't understand Portuguese I need to start studying Portuguese like literally I'm getting into it it's a lovely language responsável por tudo isto, né? E hoje o Jerónimo já é uma referência no jornalismo. She, okay, she sounds more like what I would expect to be a speaker of Portuguese, regardless of where they're from. For some reasons, uh, she now had that flair to it. Um, they kind of gave me that 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 sort of vibe. Tanto cá como Saint Thomas and Prince, Central Africa. Mas são também príncipe. Okay, so that, that kind of finishes the video. Fascinating, fascinating dive into uh, many countries that I didn't know. So this was educational in a way uh, for me as well. Uh, countries that I, I didn't even know where to place them on the map and I had no idea that they spoke. Uh, Portuguese, good for them. So I want to say uh, number one is going to be Brazilian Portuguese when it comes to the sound of it. And uh, it usually doesn't even matter where so far, because I've never tried to listen to a Northeastern or a Northwestern accent, but so far, uh, both Sao Paulo and uh, Rio de Janeiro both sound really nice to me, even though they sound quite different. Uh, so far, those would be my favorite accents. Then I, I'm going to put second European Portuguese. I like it. It has some character to it, and uh, it, which makes me like it a lot. So I like it a lot. Then I'm going to go for this uh, Cape Verde in, in West Africa because I found it intriguing uh, for some reason. So that one would be number three for me and then would be the rest. But what about you? What would be your list of preference? Which one sounded the best to you? And of course, for me, they were all different, different, difficult to understand, exception being a little bit Brazilian Portuguese was a bit easier. Uh, what about you? Uh, which one was the hardest to understand or did you understand them all? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for joining Metatron's Academy.